Oh, cinnamon toast crunch. Here it is. Yep. Okay, we've got the cinnamon toast. You ground. That's what this is. This is cinnamon toast crunch, and then we mix in a little bit of breadcrumb, some extra cayenne pepper, some cinnamon, some brown sugar, just for a little extra sweetness and flavor. Okay, so you gave it a kick. It's not. You just, sort of. Yeah, you kind of you kind of amped it up a little, a little bit. Cinnamon okay. toast crunch to the cinnamon toast crunch. I love that. And love once you that. get a good coating onto the chicken, okay, we're just going to drop it into a pan of oil and let it sizzle down. How long should we keep it in that buttermilk mixture that you said? Uh, an hour at absolute minimum. Overnight is, is preferred. Overnight and that's going to make it nice and tender, you mm -hmm. The enzymes oh. will help break down the chicken and, and uh, help it cook a little faster and make it a little bit more tender and soft. Nice. And then just coat it on both sides once you're getting coat it. Coat it on both sides. And what, yep. do you, what do you fry it with? Uh, just a little bit of oil. Uh, you want to fry it up. You can add some more salt, pepper, and spices depending on how hot you like it. And then after you fry it to a nice golden brown, you're going to want to pop it in the oven for just a couple minutes to finish it cooking. Okay. If you fry it the whole time, it's going to get too dark and it won't be quite as pretty. It'll look, it'll look nice. a little bit that's too a good look. That's yeah. a good secret. So yeah. pop it in yeah. the oven to kind of keep it going. Okay, so now let's get started on our waffles. Okay, so the Because that's a big component of this dish. Now, is this on your menu? It is on our menu. And what do people, what do your customers say about this So dish? far, they love it. Do so they? far, they're very excited is about it. Is it just yeah. brunch that you serve? Just yes. brunch, yeah. Okay. Just Saturday and Sunday we do this one. Nice, nice. So always be, uh, spray down your waffle maker first. Uh, I've made this mistake many, many times. Do you have to do that each time you every do it? Time. Every, every time. Every time you do it. That's why my waffles don't come out well. <laughs> I do it once and think, oh, yeah, that'll no, work. That's the not, fourth not waffle in, it. it's not as good. <laughs> no, and it sticks right to it. <laughs> Uh, pour into the center and let it sort of uh, pool itself out. You don't want to go too crazy so you don't overflow. Okay. And once you get to about there, That's uh, a nice we can add a little maker. bit more. Why not? Do you want me to do anything with the chicken or is it just No, we're just going to let it sizzle for okay. a while and then we'll flip it over. And then once you close it, for ours, we have to flip it around and turn it. And that okay. takes about four or five minutes and that's all set.